So we think things are going to slow down. At some point, there will be a pullback. We'd be a buyer into any weakness. We would not chase any rallies. And as you said, the economy is very good. We're going to be able to withstand these higher rates. And there are lots of very good companies that are selling at pretty attractive valuations. We wouldn't chase the winners, but there are lots of things that have lagged this market that we think are poised to do a lot better. When you better. say slow down, you mean the market slow down, earnings growth slows down, profit growth? What, what is going to slow down? We think that the market is going to take a little bit of a breather, but we do think the market ends the year higher than it is today. So we'd be buying in any sort of weakness. We would not get spooked out of this market. Okay. We talk about rising rates, and they do affect everything in their path. But I would imagine if you are a bank like a BB&T, a large, called a super regional, higher rates are welcome to you. Absolutely. So the financials have been one of the biggest laggards this year, but their business is very good. Their loan portfolios are very good, and higher rates actually do help them. So we really like a whole basket of financials. BBT is one of our favorites right now, but we also like a J.P. Morgan and a Wells Fargo. Is the interest rate story part of that, or is it just kind of the icing on top of that? Exactly. It's the icing on the cake. You've got a better regulatory environment. You've got very good economy, more lending, and then higher rates makes them a little bit more profitable.